you're probably looking at the title of this video and thinking wow this woman is bad at self promo <laughs> and to be honest you're probably right but let me explain so hi i'm an author i wrote this book as you can see it's called a silent curse and it is a fantasy slash sci-fi slash mystery set in this cursed town following the main character Yvette as she tries to escape. I wrote this in, I think it was 2021. The first draft was a NaNoWriMo completed goal and then edited it to the point of publication and it was published in August 2022. So we're now over a year on, almost a year and a half on, I believe. And I don't entirely like it anymore but i'm gonna be honest the title isn't completely true i don't entirely hate this book in fact it is my pride and joy i absolutely love having a copy of a book that i wrote and saying i'm an author so i'm gonna split this video into two and i'm gonna first talk about what i don't like about my book before going on to what i do like about my book and ending on a positive note so first of all pretty much on the whole the reason why i don't like it so much now is because i prefer other tropes and other genres and that's just a personal preference when you're writing books people always tell you write what you would want to read and at the time of writing this this is exactly the sort of book i would have wanted to read to be honest there's not a whole lot of tropes in here but i would say that the one main one is a fast-paced romance and nowadays i much much prefer slow burn romance and even the books that i'm writing now they're all slow burn and as much as it is a fantasy slash sci-fi ish and set in this one cursed town it is set in one curse down and at the moment i much prefer writing these big expansive worlds where i get to play around with different realms or cities or provinces or whatever and i've just got a lot more space as you will to play around with whereas this was very much confined to this one little town so basically in summary it's not something i'd probably pick up nowadays but that doesn't make it bad <laughs> The second thing I'm not such a fan of is tiny little bits of formatting that nowadays I would change. To be honest, this whole first half, even the whole video, is all just personal preference. But for example, there's, let me show you. At the top of here, at the top of a page, oh, maybe I shouldn't show a page near the end. At the top of the pages, you can see I have the book name, nope, my name, and then the book name. And when I was writing this and getting it published that was what i loved seeing i loved i don't know what it was i just loved seeing those at the top of books but nowadays i don't and i know i could change it but i really want consistency if someone's got a copy of my book somewhere i want someone else who also has a copy to have the exact same look and feel and appearance and whatnot i want it to all be the same so yes i could change it but i'm not going to because this is what 2022 me would have wanted the third thing is that it's quite short for a fantasy novel and again at the time i was a fan of that and to be honest you know what now i'm a fan of short books i just think you know what this isn't even a personal preference this is something that maybe you guys don't like it's short for a fantasy novel and you know not a lot of people are a fan of that because they think it takes time to world build etc and it does but pretty much in this book the world building happens as it goes along right up until the very end with this town sort of building up around you as you follow the main character through it and then when you get to the end you've got this whole picture of the entire town the lake the forest the mountain the castle everything one other thing i think that sometimes makes me think i dislike my book a little bit is that my writing style has changed and that doesn't mean the writing in this book is bad i would not say that i mean perhaps some critics some book reviewers would say yeah this book is awful personally i don't think it's bad <laughs> i just think that my writing style has changed a little bit to be honest it probably hasn't changed that much but sometimes i'll go back through and read my book and i think oh nowadays i'd have written it like that oh nowadays i'd have written it slightly differently i'd have put that bit here and i would have changed that paragraph with that one and i'd have switched this around but it doesn't mean that the writing is bad the final thing is i feel like i could have taken more time on it so it was published when i was 18 
shortly after my A-levels. And I think whilst I was studying for my A-levels, there was a bit of a trade-off between what do I want to focus on, my studies or this book. Ultimately, it came down to my studies, which meant even though I'd already set the date for publication, I didn't want to change it. So I was kind of rushing towards the end after my A-levels were finished, after my exams were finished, to get it done, to get it formatted and printed and exactly how I wanted it. So I set the date for publication and it, I think it must have been January sort of time and the date was August so I thought oh I'm gonna have these what seven eight months to finish it when in reality my A-levels were going on until June so I ended up having maybe three or four months within that time which is not exactly ideal when you're trying to publish a book to the best of your abilities to the best quality the best cover formatting writing everything <laughs> that being said I still managed to publish a whole book and I think that's a pretty big achievement in itself. As much as I might think, oh, I wouldn't want to read this nowadays, or I could have taken a bit more time over it, I still, every morning I can get up and I can look at the physical copy of a book that I wrote and edited and published. So I want to talk about some things that I love about my book and no I'm not going to talk about why I loved self-publishing it. I'll probably make a whole other video all about self-publishing but this is just things that I love about my book and perhaps some things you might enjoy if you were thinking about reading it. <laughs> Firstly I think it's pretty unorthodox and unique. As I kind of mentioned earlier it's quite short for a fantasy, it's not your typical sort of plot twist. I'm not gonna try and give too much away but it's um but yeah it's kind of unique I would say. Second of all this was a book written by a fangirl. I know what fangirls like. I know what hardcore fans like to see in books and what they like to pick up on. We've got a tiny little prologue and epilogue which are both titled before you're gonna have to read it to find out what on earth that means um and they're both kind of in the form of a little poem um and then i've got little quotes at the start of every chapter let me give you an example we have chapter one it says dawn and then the quote is this is a wonderful day i've never seen this one before by maya angelou um and there's a little quote like that at the start of every chapter because the book is set over only 24 hours which means each chapter is a time of day so we start at dawn like you just saw and then we end at what did i put we end at the early hours of the morning and i think that is probably the main reason why it's a shorter word count than normal for a fantasy is because it's just set over 24 hours over just one day and finally i do love the little town the world building that i did to create this little cursed town it's very much dark academia spooky vibes you've got the castle in the distance on the mountain you've got these like dark streets it starts getting really cold in the evening then the lake freezes over so you've got a frozen lake it's all very much of that sort of vibes which is something that i absolutely love so i do love the aesthetic i created the final final little thing i want to say about why i love my book so much it's because of you guys, all of the supporters, all the people that have read it, everyone who's sent me photos of it. That is my absolute favourite thing about it, is getting to see other people enjoying my work. Before I finish off, I want to add a tiny little disclaimer. I don't want this video to be in any way trying to put people off writing or even publishing a book. You know, a lot of writing that you do, you'll end up loving, a lot of it you might end up hating. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't publish it to find out that you dislike it later on, because ultimately it's still something you wrote that you can be proud of. Don't let me sit here and discourage you from writing because you think, oh, I'm gonna end up hating it anyway. Most likely, you probably won't. Most authors do not dislike their books. This is just a couple of aspects I've picked out, you know, as I've grown as a writer and as a reader. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video if you guys are interested in reading my book even after i've just completely slandered it um i'll put the links in the description you can also find it through most of my socials if you go to my instagram it'll be linked there thank you guys so much for watching and i guess i'll see you in the next one